Hello. It recently uh, occurred to me that I have a chemistry project due um, in about five hours. It uh, seemed pretty obvious that I was screwed. Then I remembered something. My family has had something stored away in the uh, attic for decades that uh, I think might be relevant to chemistry. It's a film reel from 1914 of my great-grandfather Vittorio giving a lecture on the new periodic table uh, assembled by Henry Gwynne Jeffries Mosley. quick look on the internet tells me that he was an Englishman who, for, who, after teaching for a time at Manchester University, began researching X-ray spectrography. His findings and their impact are detailed in the film, so take it away, Gramps. Unfortunately, Mosley didn't get the chance to make too many more contributions to science. It was World War I. He enlisted in the Army, and on August 10th of 1915, he was killed by a sniper's bullet while calling in an order. His death is considered by many the reason the English stopped allowing active scientists to uh, enlist in active combat. Meanwhile, we still, nearly a century later, order our current periodic table more or less by Mosley's method. Between his upgraded uh, periodic table, the increased understanding of the atom, his discoveries and equations brought us, and his military service in his country's time of need. I have to say that Henry Mosley was a man who made a lot of his 28 years of existence. 
Imagine what he could have done with 28 more. Now, at this point, you might be wondering why Vittorio Vernon happens to look almost exactly like his great-great-grandson, Victor, um, save for the mustache and glasses. To which I can only reply, uh, you didn't complain when Michael J. Fox did this in Back to the Future, so deal with it. Oh, by the way, uh, for those uh, charts and stuff that you couldn't actually see in the video, I've included them on the same disc, uh, and they're available in hard copy on request because, yeah, I know that's a little um, ridiculous for me to expect you to be able to read that. Okay, well, have a good one.